back to the channel we are looking at the stock price of carnival corporation and plc and today the stock of carnival corporation is up 3.31 percent and the stock is trading at 11 dollars six cents carnival corporation operates a leisure travel as a leisure travel company its uh, ships visit approximately 700 ports under the carnival cruise line princess cruises holland america line p and o cruises which is uh, uh, active in australia seaborn costa costa cruises ida cruises p and o cruises which is active in the united kingdom and connard brand names the company also provides port destinations and other services as well as owns and operates hotels lodges glass domed rail cars and motor coaches it sells its cruises primarily through travel agents tour operators vacation planners and websites the company operates in the united states canada continental europe the united kingdom australia new zealand asia and internationally it operates 87 ships with 223,000 lower berths. Carnival Corporation and, and PLC was founded in 1972 and is headquartered in Miami, Florida. The company has 40,000 full-time employees. Now, uh, Carnival Corporation just came out with a, a press release and they say that they have seen almost double the uh, amount of uh, reservations compared to 2019 before pandemic restrictions were put in place so that tells me that a lot more people are planning cruises a lot more people are going on cruises and uh, even though summer is about coming to an end but uh, you can tell that you know a lot of people actually took cruises this year and with uh, the two-year pent-up demand it's no surprise that uh, the projections for the short midterm uh even though it's just a matter of months but i'm taking this to go to next year next cruise uh next year's uh cruising season uh a lot more people will be traveling and even over the winter months remember these cruises are usually in the warm waters in the south uh south pacific well uh let's say southern part of the united states in uh, europe it might be a bit slower because uh, when colder temperatures come, you know, people don't travel as much. But you have Australia and also uh, <clears throat> the southern part of the United States where you have these cruise ships. And then next year, as spring rolls around, then you have more of uh, those uh, cruises around Europe, the Mediterranean and uh, many other parts of the world. So I think that Carnival Corporation is in a very good position to start recovering some of the losses they endured over the past two years now let's stretch out to the one year uh, graph and see what it looks like so you guys can see over the course of the past year how much the stock value of uh, carnival corporation got eroded you know it just got slammed really bad it's less than half what it was a year ago and if we stretch even further to go to about uh, just before the pandemic, uh, you can see that there was already sliding demand. If we look at 2018, this stock was uh, trading at $71 or thereabouts. And today we are sitting at $11 a share. Most of these stocks will appreciate. And I, I say this again, uh, you have to think like Warren Buffett. Think long term. This company was founded in 1972 it has been around this long it has the management people it has uh, uh the type of brick and mortar uh, facilities it needs it's got uh, people who are capable of running the ships it has a, a lot of of, of uh, information that is embedded within the corporate culture of carnival corporation so you can't just start up with a new company and think you can capture all that um how can I call it uh, that history and that uh, legacy that the company has and so I think over time these companies will slowly grow 
and uh, you guys can see they are also uh, retrofitting their ships now they will be able to probably have high speed internet so it's going to be a totally different experience when people go on these cruises in the coming years uh, so i fully expect this uh, stock to go back to a very high level at least 50 dollars within the next two years so uh, if you are investing like Warren Buffett would say, thinking long, long term, thinking of the locked value within the company, then uh, you are definitely going to always come out on top. On top. So if you are investing in a company like Carnival Corporation, your horizon should be at least three to five years. You know, So uh, as you diversify your portfolio, every paycheck or every time you have some money come in, you can throw you know a couple hundred dollars into carnival corporation and just forget about it you know every probably six months you take a look and see if you have to rebalance your portfolio but i think that this is a definitely a growth uh, company and we should we should be able to see the growth uh, starting to add up as uh, pandemic restrictions are lifted the market closes in about two hours 56 minutes I will jump off here so you guys can uh, start putting in your golden hour trades. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. That way we can keep our numbers growing and hit our 1000 subscriber target by the midterm elections, which take place in November. Bye now. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.